Hello, this is Scott Weinberg for Cinematical and Netscape. We are here at the world premiere gala event, Black Sheep World Premiere. We're going to be speaking to director Jonathan King and a few surprise guests. So tune in. King, the director of Black Sheep, new horror comedy that's making its world premiere at the Toronto Film Festival. I've seen horror films about bats and rats, cats, no sheep. Why sheep? Well, there's an awful lot of sheep in New Zealand and, uh, you know, the question had to be asked what would happen if they went bad. There are 10 sheep to every one person in New Zealand. So. Is, that, is that actual statistics? Yeah, actual statistics, yeah. Are, are you hoping that this movie will do for the sweater industry what Jaws did for <laughs> the ocean? <laughs> Yeah, you'll never walk through a field of grass ever again. Right. I was told that you have a, uh, a passion for using old school practical gore effects, no CGI. Yeah, What's your take on that? Exactly, yeah. Well, we've sort of approached this in a kind of state-of-the-art, old-fashioned uh, kind of way. So it's, you know, we've got Weta Workshop who did the effects for Lord of the Rings and for Brain Dead, Peter Jackson's earlier film. And mm -hmm. So they've kind of gone back to their roots and we're, yeah, it's all about um, uh, puppets and animatronics and lots of blood. You find that they're trainable animals or they just kind of do what they want? Uh, you can train them a bit. They're, they're a bit like a dog, you know, they'll come running up um, for a tasty treat or something and uh, stop on a mark, but um, if they eat too much they uh, they get bored and they won't do it anymore. So if this one's a big hit, do you think maybe we could do uh, Black Sheep 2, Shorn of the Dead? <laughs> Black Sheep 2, export quality. What do you think this film will do for uh, quadruped race relations in New Zealand? And uh, a lot of people claim that sheep are uh, conformist animals. Do you, do you believe that? And what would you say to somebody who said this film was really bad? 